Are you using the phone? Yeah. Selamat di Krab and welcome to Thailand. So we are here right now for the Redmi Note 13 launch. Uh, thank you so much Xiaomi Philippines for flying us in. This is going to be a quirky vlog as well. It's going to be just another travel vlog from us. And what we're going to be doing, something a little bit different here. We are going to be using the Redmi Note 13, the base model, to shoot majority of the video for this vlog, for this travel vlog. So everything you'll see here, majority will be shot with the Redmi Note 13. With a pretty solid internals and a very competitive price point, we're going to be checking out if the Redmi Note 13 has what it takes to create awesome, meaningful content. So join us in this vlog. My name is Colin and welcome again to Ungeek. Let's have fun. Okay, but before but before the actual launch, we had a little bit more time. Uh, dropped by Emporium for a little bit of shopping. Sempre with Madame Alora, you know, <laughs> doing all the work as well. With her uh, Redmi, what is that? What Redmi Note, 13, Note Pro 13 Pro Plus. Okay, so she's using the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. I'm using the Redmi Note 13. So doing a lot of content with this. Alora, anong binili natin? Bili kami ng tubig. Water! <laughs> so, pro tip guys, pata kayo na Louis Vuitton, just ask for water. Atti yeah. Attitude lang. And attitude then, lang. you can just say, you want, you want, there are two versions, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can check. Yeah. Can okay. This one is the? Like, the cold water. Cold. And then there's another one that's a normal water. A variant. Oh, another may variant. variant. Another variant. <laughs> Ang kaklas natin. <laughs> Dressed up for Xiaomi Note 13 event. Alvin, what's up? What oh, galit? What <laughs> galit, Alvin? Huh? Galit si Alvin eh. Sabi Sabi video niya. Oh. <laughs> Bakit galit? <laughs> so, yan. Quirky vlog what's lang yan. Guys? What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> Just trying out the vlogging capabilities of the Xiaomi, ah, Xiaomi the Redmi Note 13 oh, English base para. model. Pardon? 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 <laughs> We're here. This is the uh, Queen Circuit Convention Center uh, for the Redmi Note 13 series launch event. So we're gonna be going inside. We're gonna be seeing a lot of the new phones coming out from Xiaomi, from Redmi. Uh, again, we're shooting with the Redmi Note 13. Oh, the million. We're shooting with the Redmi Note 13, uh, shooting as much content as possible with this phone. Okay, so as you can see, we are in the middle of things. So uh, this is the reception area for guests, medias, um, KOLs for the Redmi Note 13 series launch. So in a few minutes, we're gonna be going inside. Uh, there's an experience area uh, right, just right up front, and then uh, the stage where the stage show actually happens, and then they announce everything. But we can actually get to check the other variants as well. So I have been. Uh, using the Redmi Note 13 for majority of this Bangkok trip just to document um, pretty much you know, our experience here. Uh, and we're going to be doing so as well, but we're going to be checking out some of the other variants of the Redmi Note 13 series like the Redmi Note 13 Pro, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus, 
and uh, other quirky accessories that we saw as well. So, here. Okay, so as mentioned, this is the Redmi Note 13 series. This particular phone, this particular phone is the Redmi Note 13. Redmi Note 13. And then you have Redmi Note 13 5G. If you've seen our quick review, I did mention that each iteration of Redmi has very different, slightly different components inside. So example, with the Note 13 and the Note 13 5G, it's not just a matter of like removing the uh, 5G modem but the chipset itself is actually different for each of these two and then you have the redmi note 13 pro and then there is also the redmi note 13 pro 5g again very different uh, chipsets on each as well so there's a lot of varying iterations varying features within each of these devices so pj ano masasabi mo sa redmi note 13 series ano pinaka paborito mo sila uh, so far as yung redmi note 13 pro plus Kasi so far, ang ganda talaga ng hardware niya. Ang ganda ng display, 1.5K resolution. And that is very bira talaga sa price point na yon. Also, I like na stereo speaker siya. Even if hindi super lakas, at least dalawa yung pinanggagalingan ng audio for a more immersive experience. And of course, meron siyang OIS sa kanyang 200 megapixels camera. Tinry ko siya for videos, medyo okay siya. Sa photos, medyo kailangan pa nila mag-improve ng konti. But this is better than the previous Redmi phones. We're here with Tommy, head of marketing for Xiaomi Philippines. What can fans, the Xiaomi fans expect with the launch of the Redmi Note 13 series? Um, we are launching not just the Redmi Note 13 series today, but a lot of AIoT products, wearable products. At the same time, today we're going to have a wide variety of Redmi Note um, devices to be launched, not just one variant. Um, you'll find out more about that later. But I think what we wanted to, to show in this launch is that there's Redmi Note for everyone that would fit each Filipino's preference. At the same time, different price range, different specifications that would definitely fit their personalities and lifestyle. And that's it for the Redmi Note 13 series launch here in Bangkok. If you're wondering why the audio seems off with the video, it's because it is. During the filming of this A-roll with my Redmi Note 13 4G, I failed to turn the wireless mic on. This just proves to show that no matter how good your tech is, you still have to take into account human error. And on this case, it was a major one on my part. Boo! But the reason I'm including this bit is for you guys to see that with decent lighting and having the phone propped up on a tripod, it can capture decent videos. So to go back to the original question, can the Redmi Note 13 4G create meaningful content? Well, yes, to a degree. The phone isn't really created for videography as it lacks any form of stabilization. But for photos, that 108 MP is well worth it. I did like the aspect ratio change on the unit so you can create more cinematic-like shots if you wanted to. Overall, given the price point of 7,999 pesos for the 6 gig 128 gig variant and 9,999 pesos for the 8 gig 256 gig variant, we were pleasantly surprised with the amount of features that the phone has. If you want more on the Redmi Note 13, our full review is up right now on the site. Again, thanks to our friends from Xiaomi Philippines for this great opportunity to witness the global launch of these iconic new phones. If you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Once again, this is Colin and I'll be seeing you on the next one. I'll remember to turn on the mic by then. Guys, please keep safe, keep healthy, and as always, keep on gaming. Bye-bye.